Hey guys, got a new gel ball brand to show you here. This is a brand called Aaron Club. They are on Amazon. They have several different models. First, I'm going to show you their 1911 style gel ball blaster here that has a blowback feature on it and the extended magazine battery clip. So this is everything that comes with it. Obviously, it comes nicely wrapped inside, you know, uh, bubble wrap inside your box right here. I've taken everything out so I can show you guys, right? Of course, they're going to give you your safety goggles. I talk about it in every video. Just wear some sort of eye protection. Obviously, sunglasses are going to be just as good as these. So just wear something. You don't want to get hit in the eye with these. I, I firmly believe that's the only way you can hurt yourself. So with these gel ball blasters. So let's check out everything else that's included, okay? The blaster itself will kind of say for the end. So this one comes with the two different tips that you can use. And of course, I'll go over that in a minute after we show you everything that's included. Your battery here, okay? So it's that extended magazine style battery where your charger plugs into this side. Charge it, flashing light here. When the light's solid, it's fully charged. And obviously this is the point that's gonna connect inside the blaster. Make sure you guys are using at least a one amp AC adapter when you're charging these batteries. If you're using some really small, cheap AC adapter, you're gonna have some battery charging issues. So make sure you're using a decent one, like an iPhone one or an Android one from a, a good brand, then you should be okay. All right, so you got your magazine there. They give you 5,000 red gel beads, and then they give you a thousand here. So you got two 500 packs. If this is your first blaster, guys. Start with a 500 pack, okay? You'd be amazed how big these end up growing. So um, I would start with a 500 pack. Make sure you're using the right amount of water, the right size container, and you're soaking them long enough and go from there. I typically soak them in Tupperware. These are little Tupperware type containers. They have a red top that seals them. I put them in there, use plenty of water, and put the lid on it, make sure to soak them four to six hours, and then strain off the excess water. So there should be excess water because you're not gonna guess perfect. They can't grow too big. You just wanna make sure you're soaking them long enough that they get to that seven to eight millimeters, which takes four to seven hours. So just make sure you use a good amount of water and a good size container so they can grow to the actual size they need to. I already had plenty ready to go. So that's what I loaded up the hopper with. So you can see it's that other style hopper. However, a grenade style or pineapple style hopper will fit fine on this blaster too. So you're not limited to this one. This is just what it ships with. Um, so you can know that. All right, bracket connector for your hopper. So we'll go ahead and put that on. So it'll ship to you like this, even though this piece is removable. Again, there's not really any need to remove it, but it does slide off with that release button. So you put the hopper on here. So the hopper's just gonna slide on here. And oh, I put it on backwards, so we'll flip it around. <laughs> All right, so it slides on there. And you'll notice if you did what I did first there, if you put it on backwards, it'll slide too far. If you put it on the correct way, it slides and it stops perfectly. And it's basically locked in place here, lined up with the hole like you can see. Again, once you put that on, I would not take it off and on. Leave the hopper, leave the bracket on there. There's no need to remove it at this point and just constantly remove it. It's gonna to lead to it getting looser and you don't wanna deal with that. If for some reason it ever is a little loose, there are the two screws there that you can use to tighten it up, but that shouldn't be a problem. Just leave it on there so it's good to go. This does have the cool blowback feature. So obviously we'll show that too. When it comes to your tips, you got two different orange tips that come with here. You can see how these line up. Just slide them in so that they're lined up and turn them. It's locked into place. And then you're good. Okay. Battery goes in here. You see that connection. Just make sure you're putting it in right. There. Release is here. The release is kind of camouflaged since this is all one color, but Okay, and then you've got your on-off switch. So we got it turned off, which is like a safety. And then turn it on. You can see that blowback feature right there. Very cool. So again, it's the Aaron Club 1911 style gel ball blaster. And lastly, you just take your hopper, connect it. I usually just kind of hold the gun upside down. 
we're ready. We're ready to go test it out, do some FPS testing, some shooting. Got some nice rail options here, rail on each side, rail on the bottom. So looking forward to using it. This is a nice design. I've seen this from other brands. It's a good, uh, good gel ball blaster. It works well, of course, having the gravity fed hopper means you're not gonna have feeding issues, which is good too. So Aaron Club, A-R-O-N-C-L-U-B. Find them on Amazon. They've got this 1911 style. They've got some Glock 17 styles. So lots of different cool blasters. And I'll, I'll put that demo video on the end of this. Please make sure you guys are liking, commenting, subscribe, participating in the giveaways, and uh, letting other people know about it. Thanks.